Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook pages entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Wings International Ministry. You can join our Facebook groups entitled the same names. This is brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. We will talk about resisting temptation. Let us pray. God, we give you glory for everything you have done and what you're about to do. We ask that you open up our ears to hear and our spirit to receive the word of God. Release salvation, healing, deliverance, signs, wonders, miracles. Remove all distraction and fear and release power, love, and a sound mind, focus, and faith. And give us fresh revelation and confirmation of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Resisting temptation. Being tempted is common to all people. Temptation to sin began in the garden of, with Adam and Eve, continued through time to when Jesus was tempted and has dogged all of us ever since. Temptation is the invitation to sin. Sin is acting contrary to God and His will. We often think of sin as a list of crimes, but sin is much more than that. Sin is thinking, acting, and having motives in uh, in opposed to God and His desire. Though we all are tempted, we can be confident that we are not unique. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, There have no temptation taken to you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted. Above that, ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Jesus also was tempted after fasting from food and water for 40 days. The devil tempted him to turn stones into bread because he was hungry physically. To jump from a high point that was spiritual on the temple to see angels save him. And to bow to exchange for the world's power. Here's the devil. Here. He is so stupid and crazy to say, you're hungry, turn these stones into bread. He was challenging physically. Then he challenged him emotionally, emotionally saying, and the devil going to get religious and, and then going to say, uh, so, and quoted Psalm 91 where it said, he will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways and will bear thee up lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. The devil is so crazy and then he going to tell him, Bow down to me and I'll give you power. Now, God, Jesus, created the power for him in order for, you know, he, the devil's nuts. Somebody just type in that the devil is nuts. Jesus responded by refusing to give unto temptation and quoting the word of God. Like I said, uh, he, uh, Satan quoted Psalms 91, 11 through uh, 11, 12, and 13. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 says for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin when we are tempted we can follow the example of Jesus by first and immediately rejecting the idea and following that denial up with a wall of scripture to use, to use scripture as a defense and a weapon against temptation, we should know scripture. The more we know, the better equipped we will be. And Psalms 119 and 11 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. We shall also call upon the Holy Spirit to help us to deny the temptation and to please him. Galatians 5.16 says, This I say, Then walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Praying and asking God to help us with modeled and taught 
by Jesus. He told Peter to pray to avoid falling into temptation. Mark 14, 38 says, Watch ye, watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit is truly ready, but the flesh is weak. We must be aware of this promise. Find the way out. And finally, obediently take it. As Christians, we must be aware that we have an enemy who seeks not who seeks not to simply trip us up or distract us, but to destroy us. First Peter five and eight says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a wrong eye walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Devour is not nimbling or tasting. It is destroying. It's like devouring. It's like termites. They eat so much. And they eat a bit, big chunks at a time. So we had, and, and they're like eating ants also. And those of you that work in, you know, in the pest department, y'all know about termites eating ants and comforter ants. Elsewhere, we are to we are told to arm ourselves. Arms ourselves. Remember that Jesus died for you because you could not pay the penalty for your sins, which is death. He loved you and uh, that much that he would take the death penalty for for you. In Thanksgiving, for that suffering love, you can resist temptation as. An offering to Jesus. If you want the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer and really mean it. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I ask you to wash my sins in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus died, buried, rose, sit at the right hand of the Father, and coming back for me again. I open up the door and let Jesus in into my heart. I confess that I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church so I can work in your vineyard. Fill me with the Holy Spirit so I can be a witness in the earth and have power over the devil in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and the race off the quarters of hell. Get your Bible. Start reading the book of Psalms. Psalms will teach you how to praise, worship, and pray. And Proverbs will teach you how to live. So read the, book, the books of Psalms and Proverbs. Thank you for watching the Eagle Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. We pray that uh, you... That you would take something and, and apply it to your life. If you have any prayer requests or praise report, you can email us at healingwingsintlministry at gmail.com. Inbox us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages. You can sow your seed by cash app at dollar sign Felicia Claiborne or you can mail your uh, mail a check or money order and make it payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. Inbox us on Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Facebook pages to get the address to mail your seat. Or you can email us at healingwingsintministry at gmail.com. Your offerings will go to the further of the kingdom of God. This was brought to you by the partners, prayer warriors, and supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Keep hope alive and remember, there is hope. Be blessed.